Hey builders, it's Corey. Today, we're going to be putting a roof on the barn we've been building together. To make the roof panels, I'll be using this roll of copper flashing I picked up off the internet. I'll put a link below. If you don't have access to this, you can use aluminum soda cans. It's about the same thickness and should work just fine. I found that scoring and snapping seems to work best. Whenever I tried to cut it, it always had a little bit of a curve at the edge, which ended up bending over and messing up the corrugation process. Cut a whole bunch and you're ready for your next step. To corrugate the panels, I'll be using this paint tube squeezer I picked up on the internet. I'll put a link below for the one I'm using. You can also pick one up at a craft store, but they're a little bit more expensive there. Now that they're ribbed, we'll go ahead and cut them down into proper size panels. I'm cutting the panels down to four centimeter sections, which is about 36 inches in full size. I score and snap the panels, and then use this first piece as a template for the rest. Let's go do some damage! To damage the panels, I use my X-Acto blade in combination with pliers. I use more of a poking motion rather than slicing to avoid clean cuts. Now that our panels are all beat up, we can move on to paint. The base coat will be done off the model, so we'll be attaching it to a board with some tape sticky side up. I primed the panels with black primer from rust -Oleum followed by a coat of aluminum. To get the speckled rust effect, I sprayed primers from a distance to only get spritzes instead of an actual coat. I used black, red, and white primers, and then mixed in some silver, not allowing them to dry in between. You just keep spraying them on top of each other, and the colors blend and give this really cool effect. Before we can attach the roofing, we need some cross bracing. I pre-stained these using the same techniques I used in previous videos, then attached them using super glue. It's finally time to attach our panels. Gel super glue works best for this. The liquid super glue soaks into the wood and doesn't give very good adhesion. I couldn't decide if I wanted to patch this hole or not, 
I ended up not patching it, but I've still got the panel. I'll change my mind later. There's probably a better tool for this, but I just use an old pair of scissors to trim off the excess at the top. A bit more damaging and weathering before we start putting on the washes. These are the paint colors I'll be using to do the weathering wash. This first wash is an overall wash of German camo black brown. This helps unify the panels and add shadows. The second layer is to intensify your shadows and to pick out some dark stain areas. After that dries, we'll be adding a 50-50 mix of light rust and orange rust. And you're putting this in just different spots just to kind of get some variation in color. I'm using a hairdryer here to control the pooling and to push the wash back up the panel to give us spots in random locations rather than all at the bottom. Here I'm doing an overall wash of that same 50-50 solution and while it's still wet I add dots of hull red and streak it with a dry chip brush. Here I repeat the same dot and streak technique using middle stone. Let that dry, well, mostly, and then stipple in German camo black brown on any areas you want shaded. And the final step is a highlight and pin wash with middle stone. This bent up corner was bugging me, so I bent it down instead. And here's our finished roof. I know this was a long video, but I hope you enjoyed it and learned something along the way. Mm -hmm.